Yo. Hey. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Good. I was just watching Slime with his giant picture of you on his stream. Oh, is he wait, is he streaming with a giant picture of me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, let me look that up really quick. It's pretty funny. Uh What what is the what is his account? Uh slime IRL. Oh okay. One word. Yeah. Okay, I'm loading it up. Twitch is taking forever. Come on. Just just load? Come on come on. <laughs> I'm just stuck at a loading screen. <clears throat> anyway, alright, yeah, what's up? How's it going? It's good. Uh I've got some Hopefully specific stuff, and then more, like, general things. Uh, I think I've been improving. I think my issues, like, coming off the bat, because I think our last lesson was, uh, like, three months ago? Yeah, it was a while. Mm -hmm. So I think I was, like, playing too fast for a okay. while and, like, trying to... Like, I wasn't thinking in-game a lot, which I guess makes sense, because I was thinking about the game plan mostly. And then I think recently... Well, I've that's started... what you should be doing. You should be focusing yeah. on the game plan more than uh, thinking in the game. Yeah, and I think recently I've been able to, like, watch my opponent more, and I, like, uh, in certain matchups, um, and especially Fox. Like, I feel really comfortable in the Fox and Falco matchup, where that's I can good. actually just watch what they're doing and I just understand what the scenarios are and what I'm supposed to do. Um, and that's why I think I get really frustrated playing like Sheik, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I've seen lessons. I, like, I know you've told me some stuff, but I don't know it in, in depth enough where it, like, it just feels so different than when I'm playing Fox or Falco. Like, mm -hmm. when I'm playing a better Fox, um, like, people who get top 8 at Verdugo, like, I don't feel lost at all anymore. It's like, oh, he's just, he just beat me in these couple of scenarios, but I know why. But then Sheik, it's like, oh, I don't even know why why this option I'm doing is losing. Like, I don't even know I what's see. going on. <coughs> Alright, so, uh, let's see. Do you want to so, go, yeah. go over the that set from Lawless that you sent me? Yeah, a, a I'm hoping to go ago? over the, okay. the Sheik set from Lawless to, like, understand, like holistically what and it's also a tourney set so i'm even i'm going to be playing even sloppier than normal which is i think good to look at mm -hmm. and just understand like what my like panic options are and like understand why they're bad and i think a lot of i think my chic matchup shows a lot of the areas in melee that i still fundamentally misunderstand mm -hmm. Like, I think shield pressure is an area I still really misunderstand, because I get shield grabbed so much in Marth and Sheik matchups. I see. Um, which means that there's definitely something I just don't grasp about shield pressure, so I'm hoping we can pick up something about that. Okay. Um, and then after it, I want to then go over, like, a Fox game just to see about okay. that, too. All right. So, uh, the screen share is working, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, there's already a little bit. Um, so, against Marth and Sheik, being in the corner is, like, extra bad. <clears throat> it's significantly worse than being in the corner against, like, Fox or Falco. Mm -hmm. Maybe, well, being in the corner against Falco is pretty awful, too. But it's not that bad against Fox. <clears throat> so, a lot of, there's, like, a lot of positions where, um, like, she can't really hit you on the platforms at low percent, either. Uh, you can move around the stage. Basically, the idea is you, you just don't really want to, like, get these positions very often against either Marth or Sheik, where you're, like, you're just fighting out of the corner. Uh, I think this is like a space where um, Sheik has a bit of a winning mix-up against Falco. 
So, like, if you kind of put yourself exclusively in situations where you're cornered, you will probably lose the majority of the time to, like, an equally skilled Sheik, no matter what. Right. <clears throat> so you really want to avoid... Like, so the, the nice thing about Sheik... Um, I'm not going to talk as much about Marth, even though there's a bunch of similarities. Uh, you might be able to, like, do that yourself. But <clears throat> the main... Thing that makes Sheik really different from a Spacey is that she doesn't have like approaching meaty aerial type things that like Spacey's do. Like she doesn't have like an approaching Nair or approaching down air like Fox and Falco. And so it makes her character a lot more like stuck in place kind of. She has a lot harder time actually approaching than the Spacey's do. And so the only time that she doesn't really need to worry about it is when you're in the corner, because then she can just hold her ground. Like, whenever she gets to hold her ground and then just, like, slowly encroach, she's, like, at her strongest, because she's just doing yeah. these, like, short hop aerials and stuff like that. Um, but whenever she's in a position where she needs to kind of, like, chase you, she's really, really bad at that. And it basically just makes the situation where you're up stocks really extra strong against her. She has a really hard time coming back. Okay. Um, so yeah, so let's say you're in like a position like this, and this is like a very even position. Your goal is basically you don't want to move past this point if you can help it. So and you, you're you're allowed to move past it if you're about if you're gonna like dash and then like wave land off the platform or something like that. But that's because you're gonna move immediately back this way. But you kind of want to be like defending this area, and ideally you want to get into this area. <clears throat> like here and kind of push Sheik into the corner. Uh, so it's kind of like you might feel like you're in danger here if you if you fight it out too much, uh, but you're in more danger fighting it out here. So you'd be better off fighting it out here regardless. Like you'd be better off, like when you're in the corner, you have to hold your ground. <laughs> so like in this, and, it, and it's like a worse position because you're going to get hit off stage. At least in the center, if you're holding your ground, it's not quite as bad. Like, you're not going to get sent into, like, an edge guard immediately. Mm -hmm. So, one way that helps with holding your ground is that Sheik really struggles to approach through lasers. She does not have uh, as fast as a uh, dash that Fox does, so she can't really, like, cover as much ground. And she also doesn't have the ability to, like I said, aerial approach, like, to get over, like, low lasers. Like, sometimes Fox short hop nares or full hop nares in to get past your lasers she doesn't mm -hmm. have that so if you feel comfortable like like just if you don't think too hard about like the range like the forward tilt range and stuff like don't worry about that if you just think about their movement it's like okay <clears throat> she takes the same laser stun as fox and her dash is slower and her wave dash is slower and she can't aerial approach <clears throat> then why are you treating her like you're in danger at this distance? <laughs> like, if you if you wouldn't feel in danger at this spacing from Fox, like, where you need... Like, there's no reason to basically dash away to get this to get this laser. Because if you weren't in danger there against Fox, you're definitely not in danger against Sheik. Like, she's significantly slower than Fox. Like, if you hit this laser right here, and I think after, th after this one, this is the one where you do, like, a dash back laser... Mm -hmm. there's just no reason because she's slower than fox you wouldn't at this range against fox you would i don't know let's just give an example of a mix-up you would do here is maybe you do like laser laser dash back backflip and then you try to get them to run under you for a down air or something like that just like a random mix-up that you would do i don't think like, it doesn't really matter what it is um but basically you'd kind of have in your head like these little shadow clones of fox like oh he could kind of short hop in or full hop in or dash in and for Sheik, it's just none of those. It's like, if she wants to get in, she has to take laser and dash in, or wave dash in, and that's it. Like, she can't jump in. And if she's gonna jump in, <clears throat> it's like a really heavy commitment. Like, when Sheik short hops, it takes a really long time for her to come down. Kind of like, um, I don't know if you've heard me talk about, like, Jigglypuff, or when she, like, full hops, then, like, it takes so long for her to come down that you can kind of just get underneath her. <clears throat> Like, she just doesn't come down immediately. Sheik Short Hop is really similar. Takes her a while to get down, and she doesn't have, like, a lot of horizontal space that she can cover using it. So, that means that when you, uh, when you laser Sheik, 
there is only really one threat range you need to be worried about, and that's like take laser instant forward tilt or nair, which is about this much range. So if you laser Sheik and you're not in this much range, you're not in danger at all. <clears throat> like there's nothing she can do. Okay. So if you're like here and you laser Sheik, this is like a laser dash in because there's no reason to create more space. You want to take space and push her into the corner. So it's like laser, dash in to maybe like right here, get another laser, and you want to end up basically, your goal is to land a laser in, well, there's a bunch of different goals, but one of the nice situations in this matchup is basically, um, <clears throat> so if you think about it like this, let's just imagine that Sheik's only move is like forward tilt. Um, because that's like a really common situation on the ground. It's like yeah, your most common move. It, it seems like it. But yeah, exactly, exactly. And so let's say you laser her, so it's pretty common knowledge if you laser Sheik and you immediately down air in, it'll beat forward tilt or nair. They both just hard beat forward tilt. It doesn't trade or anything, just beats it. And so she can't just forward tilt unless she wants to get down air. Um, but sometimes they will call you out for not down airing by doing like, you know, take laser, walk forward, forward tilt, or wave dash in or something like that. And so if they do that, aggressive option where they're like take laser run crouch forward tilt or something like that or wave dash forward tilt or walk forward tilt um what if you just did laser dash back laser not like not like retreating laser like just dash back back flip turn around laser um so it's like what if you just did laser dash back turn around laser you just created the same exact situation again <clears throat> you only lost like this much space and she showed her hand she showed that she was gonna hard read that you weren't coming in with the down air there i have one <clears throat> question about that mm -hmm. uh, if, when you say take laser does that assume that she didn't shield it and there's like hits done from it or is it yeah take take shield? laser means like that you get hit by the laser so i think that's something that i struggle with is like the concept of like reaction point of like when you shoot the laser and when you know that they are going to get hit by it versus shield it. Like, it seems like I've already had to choose my next action, if that makes sense. So, I've already, like, uh, at the time I would have to choose the my follow-up move after this laser, I'm. it seems like in the moment I'm not sure if this is going to hit a shielded Sheik or not. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so... Um... Basically, what I'm trying to describe is that, like, if you, so if you do, like, the laser, and then you do dash back, turn around, laser, um, you are, like, gathering a lot of information for the mix-up, and you're doing so in, like, a completely safe way, where if you guessed right, you might hit her. Because, like, think about this, so, laser, dash in down air, beats forward tilt, right? Yeah. Laser dash back dash in down air also beats forward tilt because it whiff punishes it. And so, and if she shields the laser, dash back, turn around, laser just like holds her in place more. So, like, it doesn't, like, you do eventually have to choose an option. Like, mm -hmm. you can't beat any character in the game on pure reaction. But you use your lasers to basically set up situations where Sheik doesn't get to choose when you play the mix-up. Like, you get to choose when to let it rip. She doesn't have, like... <clears throat> so think about it from the Sheik perspective. Like, she's trying to get in on Falco or, like, hit Falco. And she, after every single laser that hits her, she has to, like, make a decision. Is Falco coming in or not? And if she guesses wrong, then she could get hit. And if she guesses right the Falco's coming in, yeah, she could get you. But if she guesses uh, that you're coming in and you're not coming in, she could also get hit. Or like, So it's like, uh, that's not a good way to describe it. It's like basically, um, if you choose the early down air and she chooses the forward tilt, she gets hit. And if you choose to yeah. dash away and she chooses the forward tilt, she still gets hit. And if she chooses to call out 
the no down air, the down air still hits, <laughs> like the instant down air. And if she chooses to call out the dash back, which is the other part of that equation, then nothing happens to you. Yeah. So, so it's the kind one of that loses is like instant down air in and she chooses to shield. That's yeah, like the bad so, option. Yeah, so exactly. So it's like you have you have options that do lose, but you get to decide when to use them and they win the majority of the time. And that makes like a really strong overall mix up against the character because okay. she doesn't she like she has no control. She has to commit when you tell her to and you don't. <laughs> and if and even when you do commit, you get like a two out of three. Okay, that that makes sense. I'll have more questions about the shield stuff when we get there, but that, mm -hmm. I think that, that yeah. That so makes. okay, and for the shield thing, there are a couple answers. So, answer one is you land with a nair uh, behind their shield. Whether this is like they do a dash back shield and you just so like okay, so basically when they're in shield. Their options when they're in shield are roll, which is useless. Like obviously it gets her out, but it's not like good. It doesn't she's not yeah. gonna get something out of it. Or she has like her favorite, wave dash out, or she has short hop. Then those are kind of her options. And so if you laser her shield and you do a little, you know, dash dance or timing mix up or whatever, sometimes you do it instantly. And so let's say you laser her and she's shielding and you do an air, and you do a cross-up nair. Let's just start with that. Um, if she jumped out of shield, you catch her with the ideal nair, where she's in the air, and you get a big combo. If she wave-dashed out of shield, she's usually, like, 99% of the time, she won't be able to punish you, or you get a combo. And if she stays in shield, you're safe. The only thing she can really do is, like, wave dash forward and like underneath your cross up nair and then she won't get a punish out of it so and then if it's the opposite way where she's facing away it's the same thing except you don't cross up you just land the nair on the back of her shield but it's the same exact concept where like okay. she doesn't really have a way to like grab you or do anything on the back of her shield so if you hit the back of her shield especially with like a nair it'll catch her jumping and it catches all the other options too uh, down air is fine there, but uh, most of the time I like it because, like, uh, I like the nair because she's shielding in these... Just a lot of times it's in a position where she's, like, a low enough percent where down air won't knock down, basically. And so the nair covers everything, whereas the down air doesn't cover her jumping out of shield. Got it. <clears throat> um, the other thing with um, chic shield pressure that I wanted to mention really quick is that uh, shine grab is your friend. Yeah. Shine grab is your best friend. Like, some might say your only friend. <laughs> but, like, there's just not a lot of, like, situations uh, where you shield pressure Sheik, where you're like, oh, that's my thing. Like, I love I love shield pressuring Sheik with this, you know? The only one is really shine grab. Um, you can also do late aerial shine short hop down air. Um, if, you, if you do shine short hop down air and she tries to shield grab after the, the shine... The down air actually hits her every time. Raw short hop, like short hopping over Sheik's grab doesn't work. Like mm -hmm. shine empty short hop, that doesn't work. But shine short hop down air will actually hit her out of the grab. So And then sh shine, for shine grab, if if you shine grab and the shine actually hits and you like grab the air, does that impact like your ability to follow up now? Or is that like... Grab the air, what are you talking about? So, like, I, I preemptively decide I'm going to shine grab. Yeah, like, you late like in there shine, or something like that? Yeah, you're gonna shine my grab. shine hit her. So now uh -huh. she's knocked up, and my grab animation goes off, like, and she's already in the air. So I'm, like, delayed now going oh, to yeah. attack her. Is that, like, a bad thing? Or is no. that, like, over No, it, because it, most of the time she's not going to be holding away when the shine hits. Uh like why would she you know like why would she be holding back pretty much and mm -hmm. so she's just gonna go straight up and you'll just be able to combo her that's okay. like that's just like the glory of falco shine grab in general is that like people are usually kind of holding their shield like a little bit into you to like not get poked and stuff like that Sheik not so much but like they're just not really gonna be holding like full away because if they did they'd be afraid of like rolling into the corner or something like that 
Yeah. So, so the most people aren't just holding, they're just kind of holding in place or in, and you get the shine grab and they'll just kind of fly up and you get like an up air or a back air into like a shark or something, which is really, really good. It's like kind of what you want. Uh, it's kind of similar to like if that grab actually hits, um, you get like forward throw sometimes or down throw sometimes, but a lot of times up throw is really good. Um, yeah. Especially like if you get a, like a, like if you get a shine grab right here, um, I would be back throwing. Like if you're on this side, if you're on the left and you shine grab her right here, you know, I wouldn't up throw here cause she'll just freaking go over like this way. Right. And if she's going to go over this way, she's not in any danger at all. <clears throat> but let's say I'm like here and I shine grab her where I'm like here and she's here. Yeah. I might up throw here and like, you know, kind of get like a good position with her being up, up, like stuck up here. So, um, let's see, shine grab is really good. The, her only counter that like truly beats shine grab is to like buffer a roll out. It's like the same with like Fox and stuff like that. Um, there's, there's other things you can do depending on like the spacing, but it's mostly like the roll. And so you can kind of just mix up like, uh, like, you know, the, like the mango shield pressure where like shine wave dash back. And then if she like rolls in, then you can just get, you can punish her for it. Um, okay. and it's, it's like Falco Sheik is all about these things where you're like, I'm safe, but Sheik's not. And that's kind of just like the deal yeah. is like, okay, so let's see, let's go back and start looking at some actual interactions. And, um, so obviously when Sheik is at really low percent, she's like a pretty extreme, uh, danger to Falco, but thankfully... Sheik is also really bad against Falco low percent. <laughs> so, yeah. like, Sheik also has to play her little, like, I need to hit you game, and you have a lot of good opportunities to get, uh, like, lasers and stuff like that to build the damage. You want to get her to, like, 10 or so, but this is this is a good spot to get down here for sure. Uh, I see, just wave dash the wrong way. Don't want to do, you don't want to nair in like that. That makes no sense. Uh, just, just, like, drop down here and laser and start the whole thing again. Okay. <clears throat> So this is, okay, so this is like a spot where you're getting, um, notice she just wave dashes in out of the freaking shield thing. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so yeah, this is bad. Okay, so this, this. Um, so remember out of this laser, you're completely safe. There's nothing that she can do to you here. Um, so a lot of times I just kind of like to throw out another one. Um. There's just, there's a lot of little, like, ways you can kind of just call Sheik out and stuff like that. Where, like, I don't know, if you're lasering here, like, maybe a really common situation I would get would be, like, I do laser, laser in place, right? And she does take laser, dash into the second laser. The second laser hits her right here. And then I do dash back and she'll forward tilt after the taking the second laser and then i dash in down air or something like that that's just like really common and you you want to this whole matchup is kind of chic like struggling to reach for falco because the yeah. lasers lock her down so much it feels like if you try to just chase falco you get locked down and then you get beat up and so you have to kind of chase falco but carefully and you kind of get caught when you're trying to like reach in to get him and so you Got don't it. you don't really want to be like reaching for Sheik as Falco, because you're doing her job for her by yeah, like jumping like in there. Like that. Was bad. Yeah, but it's like if you had just kind of chilled, this nair like you have to make Sheik come in and take it from you because she's bad at that. <laughs> so like if he does this nair, that's not gonna do anything to you ever unless you like went in on him. <clears throat> Okay, so this was good, right? This was the laser. It hit, it hit her shield, and you just nared, and you did the cross-up, and you're in, like, an overwhelmingly powerful spot. Like, overwhelmingly powerful spot. So that was the exact nair I was talking about, so that was really good. Okay, um, okay in this position, this is super important. Um, what Sheik is going to do out of this position is almost the same every time. Uh, what, do you think, what do you think Sheik's going to do here? Uh, roll right. No, she's going to wave dash out a shield to the right and hope that you whiff a short hop back air or down air while drifting towards her this way. This is like the fundamental crux of Sheik's defensive game is I'm here and you just hit my shield. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wave dash out so that if you hit the same position again, I grab you. That's like, 
95% of Sheik's, like, out-of-shield game against Falco. Mm -hmm. And so, in this position, the one thing you're never going to do out of this shine is jump up and aerial her shield again. You're just not going to. There's no reason to ever do that. Your options here are you can, like, wave dash out this way and reset the laser. You can do, like... Um, wave dash down and like kind of crouch here and look for like a grab or something like that um you can just like you can do like a little dash dance and kind of wait for her to wave dash out and then get a laser right here um there's a lot like, of I'm things done. huh i'm done here you're basically like i'm done here and now i'm waiting for her like... it's it's like okay it's that like you are at an advantage you've shown her i created an advantage yeah. Now it is her turn to do, like, counterplay to get out of this position. Which is always going to be wave dash out this way. Like, yeah. every time. <laughs> and so here's one thing. You're at really low percent right now. And so the Nair out of shield isn't a big deal. And so when I'm in this spot sometimes, I might literally do something like wave dash out this way and then look for, like, a jump shine here on the wave dash out. Or look for, like, a, like I do wave shine and then dash grab. Like, right here. Something like that. You don't really need to. I'm just kind of mentioning that, like, eventually there's going to be certain chic situations where you're, like, they're definitely wave dashing out this way. And you can hard punish him for it. Kind of like when there's, like, gotchas in the Fox matchup where you're, like, oh, they're definitely full hopping here and I'll just up tilt them, you know? And it's yeah. kind of, like, you don't just go into every Fox matchup, like, oh, I got to up tilt the full hop. But, like, sometimes people do it so many times you kind of kind of get a feel for it. And that's this spot. Look at that. <laughs> It's literally every Sheik in the world every time. And I'm what he's hoping for... Here, huh? I'm glad I didn't back it. Yeah, exactly. Because he's just God, really hoping for you to hit here. And so it's kind of like... Just keep playing the situation and look for the same sort of setups you were already looking for. But out of like an advantage, out of an advantage position. Uh, honestly, out of that spot where you get the shine there, sometimes you can even just like short hop turn around laser and get like the laser pressure. Because then like Sheik, gets, Sheik has this feeling here of like... Okay, Nair, shine on my shield, wave dash out. Ooh, I got hit with a laser, and Falco's right here. And she just has, like, a nasty tendency here to, like, maybe dash in the corner or something to, like, kind of reset, and you can get, like, nice pressure. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of, like, converting, like, the advantageous situation to, like, even better uh, situations. Okay, da, da, da. Okay, I wanted to talk about... Okay, so this... So, boom, boom. So, Sheik is a little different than Fox. Sheik can barely get... You know, like, that whole, like, double laser video I made? Yeah. Where Fox can't take laser running power shield? Yeah. Sheik can. She has a slightly shorter dash animation, which allows her to take laser running running power shield on the second laser. Um, and this would be a really big problem. If she could actually get anywhere in those 11 frames. <laughs> so what'll happen is if Sheik does, if you do double laser and Sheik does take laser running power shield, she doesn't actually go forward almost any distance at all. And so you are just always safe to just take laser and then dash back, dash in and do something. Like every okay. time. She doesn't have an answer. So it's like she does this, this. She's completely super duper stuck here. And so I just want you to look at, like, and you were a little slow on the lasers here, so she got a little bit more distance than she might have otherwise, but I just want to sort of demonstrate that, like, she doesn't actually, it's not like Fox. Like, when Fox gets the running power shield, dude, he, like, flies across the yeah. stage. Like, you have to prevent that at all costs. She does not go that far. So, like, look at this. Take laser here, and then, um, so she's, like, right in this position, and then the second laser happens, and she only ends up right here. So she doesn't get this big, long... Like, Fox would be, like, here. <laughs> He'd get this big, long slide in. So you just don't have to worry too much about it. And, like, look, a lot of times Sheiks will get this. They don't want to just wave dash in again because they're afraid of you getting, like, take laser shine or something like that. So a lot of times they do this, and they want to drift in with this. And all you have to do is just... There, well, there's a couple options. Uh, you can basically make... So this is another one of those situations where if you know what's gonna, what's about to happen, you win. Sheik dies. If you don't know what's going to happen, you just do the safe option that gives you an advantage. So when Sheik is short hopping right here, you're, you have two choices. One is to nair slash fair. Like nair, fair into up tilt. Um, 
that is a really good option, especially because you're at low percent, and it works in less Sheik hard reads, your your uh, your approach. So, like, if Sheik does early fair, she'll get you. Um, okay. But if she does the latest fair and she's trying to react to you, you'll hit her. The nice thing, what happens if you near her? She dies. What happens if she fares you? Nothing. You're only at 11%. So it's kind of like a good time to take that sort of, like, situation. Um, but the good news is, let's say she jumps up like this, and for whatever reason, you weren't ready for it. It's it's fine. Just just dash back to right here. Just it's You basically just want to be just far enough that her farthest fair can't hit you, or farthest nair. And you just sort of move right outside the range and laser, and what will happen is the laser will hit her when she's just about to land right here, and it's incredibly awkward for her. Most of the time, she'll just shield. You can get, like, an, like a shield pressure or a grab or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, she does this fair, and, like like I said, like, imagine if you had just lasered from right here. It's, like, a super free, like, little opening. And this is really common for Sheik to do. They do, like, this laser fair thing. Or, sorry, uh, fair forward tilt thing. Okay, so like this. And this is kind of their mix-up. And it's kind of silly to do this, even though, like, you're, like, not at knockdown percent. But they will do it. Um, they do, like, this fair. And then they're like, you're going to whiff punish my fair, aren't you? Forward tilt. And stuff like that. And this is why you need those lasers. Because the lasers, like, they reset all of this fair forward tilt nonsense to, like, hey, Sheik, you took a laser. Do you want to forward tilt or do you want to shield? You know? <laughs> yeah. What I know what happened here, and it's like I, I think I need your help on this because I watched your Sheik video, and right here I'm incorrectly trying to apply the the one three five thing. Mm -hmm. So, I I and you'll see it a couple times in the set, where I think I don't fully grasp when it's when no, I'm supposed to. No, no, it's it's very that. it's very simple. The one three five thing happens after the laser hits. That's okay, it. So that's it. <laughs> like once you hit the laser, like. This is kind of the, the thing. It's like, basically, when you shoot a laser, you have two choices. Reset or 135. That's it. Okay. Just reset or one th or like you either do the reset or you do like the laser into the mix-up, which can include another laser. Which is maybe, maybe that's more part of the reset. It's because it's kind of like laser into the schmix or retreating laser or laser in place again or something like defensive. And... That makes sense. Basically, if, if she gets scared of you at any time and she just throws something out, free opening. Yeah. I was, like, missing a puzzle piece. Because I think I saw she was in front of me, and I was like, oh, I'm going to 135, but I should have said I'm going to laser first and then 135. I was just, like, missing the most important part. And you were in the corner. Uh, yeah. The thing about the corner, like I said, is you don't have, you don't have additional disengages. Honestly, what I'm probably going to end up doing in, like, the future in that position against Sheik is laser wave dash to edge. That's probably like the galaxy brain 2030 option there. <laughs> yeah. Because like I feel fine here against everybody except Plup and Jmook. And as soon as Plup and Jmook have me in the corner, they're just like short hop, back here drift in, mash, mash, SDI, and it's like, oh dude, like no. Like it just yeah. gets really ugly when they're like, I'm right here. Because you can't get a laser out without the possibility of getting forward tilted, essentially. And it just gets really bad. And I think the future there is definitely just going to ledge. Um, yeah. But if you don't, for whatever reason, have the presence of mind to go to ledge, I certainly haven't yet. <laughs> uh, just literally laser and then pick a number and just go for okay. it. Cool. Ideally, you know, you'd get the cross up too. To get out of the corner. Yeah, you're just giving her way too much space, man. Like, way too much. Like... Like, 40 more times than you should. Like, it's crazy. Like, you yeah. hit her. She ledge dashes right here. Boom. It's like, dude, where is all this space coming from? <laughs> I think... So it's going to sound like... I, I think it's the shield grab thing. It's like, I don't know what my approach option is that's not going to lead to just me getting shield grabbed. And I think probably game two, when I get more aggressive and I mm -hmm. probably get shield grabbed a lot, like, okay. that'll be the answer. But... This is why I like start out and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna play smart. I'm not gonna get shield grabbed. So I incorrectly like do this approach. And it's because I don't know. Like, I don't know what, like, if you go back, she's like in front of me, I'm in the middle. And I think it's like, I wanna go in, 
but in my head, I'm like, I don't know. Like, she's shielding my laser's hitting shield. I guess, like, I should just be grabbing. Her. Well, the point is, you're talking about right here. Oh, uh, or... more back. Like, like, more when she came from the ledge. She, like, uh, ledge dash. Right, like, yeah, like, yeah. And, like, I can tell I have her in a disadvantaged state, but mm -hmm. it's like. She just has this giant shield on, and it's like any you, move I yeah. go in with is gonna get shield grabbed. So I kind of freeze, and I'm like, more lasers. So something that might help you out is okay. So Sheik is at control range until you're close enough that if she shields, you can cross her up with your aerial. So when Sheik is at this range. This is not a fight range. This is control range. You just hit her with a laser. You can actually, you can hit her with this laser and jump forward to right here and laser again in perfect safety. She doesn't have a thing that'll hit you. She's still in control range. As soon as you get to this in range where you can cross up aerial, your mix-ups open a lot. You just, you don't got it. Because if you're thinking, I, I know this is, this is just an example range, but I've just noticed this sort of range of once. It's kind of like, if this this range should not make you fearful and it also should not make you want to approach this range should feel like you're both just calmly sitting at a chessboard and you're just like okay gonna laser and laser again just it's just you just have to accept that she can only move like eh, or like whoa like she can't yeah. like Pwah, cha. so it's like if you just like kind of laser and you're moving around she's gonna kind of like creep in like this she's not really gonna like Poof, like fox those like she can't just get in so it's like yeah. it's, it's fine <laughs> like it's totally okay um yeah. i want to see what happens as i get lazier with the lasers and i get more aggro like what mm -hmm. I do. okay so the other thing that i want to get into is late aerials late aerials are super crazy nasty against chic uh because she needs to rely on her shield so much so mm -hmm. i explained that other piece of the matchup where she's like walking and forward tilting and it doesn't sound very happy for her <laughs> And so that's why she tries to abuse this other part of the matchup where she's basically like, here I come, I'm encroaching, here's my forward tilt, forward air, forward tilt, I'm totally playing the game. And then what she, what she really wants is to kind of do those at a range that are just safe. Like she, she wants to kind of make it look like she's trying to get in without really getting in. And then just shield so that when you attack her, she gets free openings. That's the, that's the nut. <laughs> like... That's all Michael does. He just runs. He just runs across the whole stage at you, and then shields in front of you, and mm -hmm. hopes that you hit it so that he can grab you or near out of shoot. And that's a really, really common chic strategy because the hitting strategy is bad. And so the really simple answer to that, and it's just any late aerial, because it's like the early aerial. The only thing the early aerial was beating in the first place is the forward tilt. Yeah. So unless you're hard reading the forward tilt. There's no reason to ever early aerial. Like, ever. And so, then... Well, I, okay, when she's on the ground, I mean. When she's in the air, of course, the early aerial. No, no, yeah. yeah. I, 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 <laughs> so, I, I just want to clarify. Like, no, I was going to ask a stupid question. Um, this is what I mean about, like, my knowledge. What What's the mechanical reason that they can't be late aerial shine? They can't like, beat like, late aerial shine? Is it, is it because they're just... When you're saying late aerial, like, is the answer what's from the sheik's perspective like what's so difficult about late aerial well you can't grab it is it because it's literally just like there's no frames to grab it yeah like you you hit her you hit her with the late aerial so like the the window between you hitting her shield and shining is smaller because you hit her shield like a couple frames before hitting the ground yeah so, like, if you hit her with, like, a rising aerial, it hits on the way up, and then you have to finish your way up, and you have to come all the way down, and then you shine. So she has time to grab you. But if you jump up, and you fall, and then right before you land, you aerial, the window before the shine is like that, and she there's just no frames to, to actually grab you or counter at all. Yeah. Okay. And so you get late aerial, shine grab. And now she's in a disadvantage off of shielding one time. Cool. those also full hop is really good against chic uh not it's it's kind of funny it's it's good in the way it's good against link <laughs> which is 
it's very, very good offensively and not that good defensively. Like, Sheik is one of the better characters at catching Falco full hopping, at, let's say, out of the corner, because she has her back air. And her back air is like... Her back air is basically just the perfect counter for Falco uh, full hop. And so this is like one of the few characters where full hopping out of the corner is a really bad idea for the most part. Uh, I actually think the thing that Bobby does, where he does like the full hop side B, is pretty good against Sheik here, rather than the dash full hop, just because her back air is always waiting to catch it. Okay. Um, but if you, go, if you end up up in the air, like for whatever reason you full hop or you're on the platforms or something, kind of just coming down on Sheik... Uh, with the down air is really good. Down air and air is really good. Uh, one quick thing to mention again, Sheik, the thing that Sheik suffers with the most in general as a character is left-right ambiguity. She's like the worst of the top tiers at dealing with left-right ambiguity. So if you land an aerial and you kind of land it just sort of directly on her head, it's really mm -hmm. ambiguous which side of her you're going to land on, and that makes her life very difficult. And yeah. so she's actually fairly weak to like attacks from let's say not necessarily this angle a lot of times she'll trade with the up tilt uh but kind of like this angle she's she's very vulnerable to down airs from this angle because up tilt hits like this and forward mm -hmm. tilt hits like this and so it's kind of like this little angle where she's really bad at fighting against that's just like a note about the full hop okay okay <laughs> this is a bad choice. Okay. Yeah, you kind of just like fighting it out without your lasers. Rolling is, like, rolling past Sheik is really bad, unfortunately. Like, rolling from in Sheik, from in front of Sheik to behind her, because she can just turn around forward tilt. Oh, okay. Or, or dash attack, yeah, or, or, like, boost grab, or whatever. She yep. just has, like, crazy good options against rolling past her. If you roll away, she kind of struggles, because she has a hard time, like, moving in. But yep. rolling past her, she's, like, one of the best in the game at covering that. That makes sense. Like, right here, when you're, like, moving around. Lasers. You gotta hit those lasers. Uh, this is, like... Um, yeah, instead of these, like, weird zoning back airs, I should just be lasering. So, you know how in the Falco Ditto, we figured out that whole, like, you kind of do the laser into, like, the dash dance mix thing, and if you don't have the laser, you just don't play? Yeah. It's the same thing here. Very similar. There's, like, these few interactions that you win in the matchup, and you win them very handily, and the goal is to only play those. So the goal is to only play, like, those very simple laser mix-ups that I've already brought up. And it, it's just, the goal is to play them and win them. And the Sheik's goal is to prevent you from playing those. And so if you ever just kind of go off script and start doing, full, like, short hop, instant double jump, fast fall back airs and stuff, like, you'll lose because it's not in, it's not part of the plan. Yeah, I should just be lasering, trying to set up. Like, the plan just works over and over. Like, she can't approach through lasers at all. <laughs> so it's like, there's no, there's no reason to, to vary things up, because it's not, it's not winning because of, like, a mix-up. It's winning because of, like, a fundamental character mobility issue with Sheik. So, like, there's, there's nothing that you need to change, <laughs> because it won't, yeah. it won't stop working. And that's part of why this matchup is so brutal, in my opinion, is that it's just... It, the same patterns never stop working ever. She doesn't have why, like a way. Is that why like Marth beats Falco? Because it's like the inverse of that. <clears throat> what do you mean? Oh, just because like there's like stuff Marth does that Falco is just like fundamentally doesn't have options for. Uh, I don't think Marth beats Falco. I think oh. that uh, I think that Falco Marth is just not as easy <laughs> like the chic matchup is like really yeah. easy like it took me like three weeks or something and i was already like messing up a lot of sheiks um but yeah. the marth the marth matchup i think is a little trickier my thing my whole thing recently that i've been saying is falco beats marth really badly if you if you play the game full time and if you don't play the game full time it's just hard <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh and it's it's mostly just like a consequence of like uh 
the combo and edge guard game being like i don't know you have like a sharking situation on chic and you're like oh free you know up tilt <laughs> but against marth it's like we well, have to land the perfect laser based on his drift and then hit like the perfect nair or he'll be able to reversal you with the fair and it's like everything still works just as well it's just a lot less forgiving yeah but i don't think there's anything marth can necessarily do that falco like can't deal with um but uh, certainly Sheik has a harder time than Marth, that's for sure. But that, that was supposed to be just a shine grab there, right? And oh, if you go back, I think I think I'm maybe I think that full pop was just a mistake. Right there. Like when she does the back air out? No, like I, I think I just gave up advantage state there. Like right here. here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Shine, and then yeah, like, no, I, you definitely should have just shine grabbed here, uh, or shine down air, because you're behind her shield, so you can just, like, the important thing about the shine down air is shine down air, drift back, because if you do shine down air and you drift in, sometimes she'll just wave dash out after the first one, like, she'll wave dash out after this first down air, and then she'll get you for it, uh, but yeah, the shine grab is definitely the play right there. Is the shine opinion. down air, like, is that it? Like, am I done after, if I shine down Yes, air, yeah, 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 if, if you do shine early down air, you're done. That The okay. goal, the idea is that, uh... The down air is like a, a timing mix up where you're saying like I think Sheik is gonna try to move right after the shine, which she did here. Like she tried to short hop back air, mm -hmm. so like like right here she tries to short hop back air out of this. And um, if you had just done shine down air right here, short hop down air, she just gets insta hit into the ground and you get like up tilt into like a big combo here. And so okay. it, it's just like a read of, like, I think Sheik is going to move out right after this shine. And if I'm wrong, I'm completely safe. You know, stand, it's just standard for this matchup. This, everything is like that. <laughs> We're like, yeah. if I'm wrong, I'm safe. And if I'm right, she dies. Except when you're in the corner. And <laughs> when you're in the corner, it's just like, oh, no. Here she comes. Don't really want to be doing those full hop downers like that. I know that I know how that impatience feels. So far, you just haven't like done anything. <laughs> like you just haven't like hit Sheik hard enough to a actually like have anything really happen. Yeah, I think it's like she's running around the... I, I think you've explained it well, like, when we're both grounded, but I think when he was, like, jumping around the platforms, I, again, is it literally just, okay, I'm just going to laser you until you hit get into a situation that I like? Um, not, not necessarily because... Well, I mean, kind of. I mean, that's kind of Falco all the time. But it's, I don't, what I mean is that, like, that you don't have to, like, statically laser... Like, Sheik is on the side plat camping, and it's kind of like, it's not like you're just going to like sit under the opposite side plat and camp, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you can do stuff, like if Sheik is here, you know, you can go to this platform and laser. Uh, you can, like, full hop above and, like, set up stuff here. Like, if you full hop, like, if let's say Sheik is here, and you go, if you go to here, and then you do, like, a couple lasers, and then Sheik, like, starts charging needles or something... And then you do dash full hop, right, like right here. And you're just kind of like drifting and you're kind of ambiguous. Like, am, am I going to land here? Am I going to come down on you with the down air here? Stuff like that. And then Sheik a lot of times will drop through and you get this kind of like, am I here, here, here? Or just drifting here and like lasering and Sheik's in the corner. Like it very quickly yeah. ends in a negative situation for Sheik. Uh, if you just go, like, around. Like, I usually just tell people to just, like, just, like, if somebody's camping the platform here, you just make, you just bring it all the way around and you come from above or, like, next to them with lasers. You can also get something here where you do laser, short hop in approaching laser right here, and it puts her in this awkward situation. Just briefly. Okay, yeah, and take a look, like, right here when you do this full hop. It feels like a pretty strong position. Like, she feels like she could mess up easily and get, and get like, down aired here. Uh, like, right here. Like, it feels... She's kind of scared to, like, run directly underneath you. Yeah, I mean, the main issue here is that you're not, like, 
killing Sheik. That's like the that's like the big problem. Like the the neutrals, the issues in neutral and stuff are significant too. But the fact that you didn't get any sort of like, like I think Sheik upbeat onto the stage zero times the entire game. Yeah, and that's like obviously like can't can't be having that. Yeah, it feels like I'm just stuck in like laser mode. Just get Sheik up in the air and then get her off the stage. Yeah, like right here instead of down airing, just back here. Like, what's the down air gonna do? Yeah, the back air gets her into a position she hates off stage, having to drift to the ledge in danger. The down air puts her to ledge where she's totally fine. Okay, so one, I definitely think that uh, your biggest issue outside of everything, and it honestly contributes to the neutral quite a bit, is like, it's not even like your ability to like take stocks. Because when I, like, sometimes Falcos will have that problem maybe against Fox, where they combo Fox up to like 110 and they can't, they can't get the edge guards, they can't kill him. Uh... We're not even to, like, that point. Like, we're not even to, like, the... You're missing your edge guards point. You're, like, not comfortable, like, even, like, connecting. <laughs> like, it's not even that you're, like, not comfortable comboing yeah. Sheik. You're literally, like, not comfortable with your moves hitting the character. Yeah. And, I'm, like, literally PTSD from getting shield grabbed. So yeah, that. like, you definitely... Dude, not even, like, trying to hit the character. I'm saying, like, if Sheik was standing in the middle of the stage taunting at, like, 30, I feel like you would feel, like, slight anxiety. <laughs> like, it just feels like you don't have the experience of, like, comfortably hitting Sheik yet. I think the late aerial help. So, if, like, <clears throat> if I knew that the Sheik was going to shield grab my approach every single time, like, he told me that beforehand, mm -hmm. and I was, like... I could just be like, all right, late, late aerial shine, like late aerial shine grab would, I, I'd win a hundred percent of the interactions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, or double shine. I really like delayed double shine there too. Like late aerial shine, jump shine. And then that's the Michael killer. <laughs> okay. And then if he starts, so his mix up to that, if he starts noticing that, then he would start like f tilting my approach for example that's when i do more like basically baiting out the f tilt yeah you can just do like a three yeah okay but what I i'm that, yeah. yeah what i'm saying though is that like i think that's the part of the mashup that like uh okay what's the easiest way to describe it it's like you're basically you're, you're targeting the part of the mashup you're targeting this part of the mashup like the neutral part very like rationally and it's good because you're like detecting that this is the piece that you understand the least and I, and I think that's that's good but you you have like a blockage before that even matters of that like you're not comfortable like i guess the truth is you're not comfortable comboing sheet that's what i'm trying to say but it's like it's beyond even like a combo it's like you'll get like a shine and you're like uh <laughs> and it's like so it's not even about like the long combos it's like you just need to be comfortable, like, literally, like, two and three hit comboing Sheik, and, like, if I hit her with a shine back air and she's off stage, that's, like, an advantage, you know, and, like, feeling it. I'm just, I'm just not feeling, like, like, when you, like, when you get a hit on Sheik, like, let's say you, you down air her, and, like, she, she whips a four tilt, and you down air her, I get the feeling of, like, well, I mean, what now? I mean, I'll hit her twice or something, who knows? And, like, that's, that's, like, that is a bigger issue than the neutral feeling, or, like, the neutral problems. Yeah, and this is, like, for sure, I mean, I picked this one because I think this is the worst I've played a Sheik, and mm -hmm. I don't know if I can find this. I would uh, say literally just sit in, like, like Uncle Punch. Like, I, like, actually go to, like, FD against Sheik and Uncle Punch, and just, like, pillar combo her, like, a ton. Well, like, Vessel, for example, I'm, like, 2-0 and versus Vessel in tournament. Like, sometimes I will just beat the Sheik, and I don't... It's, like, random. But, I, I mean, you're right. I need to... That's why I'm trying to see if I can find that really quick. Mm -hmm. Go over that one. But if I can't yeah. find it, you fox. <clears throat> um... That's the thing, is it's, it's not, like, um... Like, basically, I think that sometimes you get a hit, and you're like, I don't know, back air. 
and it's just like the right answer like it just happens to be the right answer and those are probably the ones you win like i'm just not i'm i'm just not detecting like the confidence of like you land a hit and you're like this is like a combo route that will lead into an edge guard like on sheet yeah and yeah, I think that's right. what you need to like establish the consistency because Falco will kill the opponent. <laughs> like I always tell people that like it doesn't matter what you know or what you think or how bad you are at Falco. Not that you're bad at Falco, but like it doesn't matter how good you are at Falco, he will kill the opponent one out of five stocks on his own. <laughs> like yeah, every yeah. Falco on earth can just zero death one out of every five stocks. It's just the way it works. Not every game, maybe once every couple games though. <laughs> like and so it's like you just have to like think about it from a perspective of like consistency rather than anything else because that's what really matters in this game and especially against characters who aren't like like it's kind of easy to be consistent comboing fox cuz you just like yep. you just hit him a few times and it's easy to hit a few times but like the characters like Sheik and Marth there's a lot more like wrong answers on how to combo them there's a lot more like very specific correct answers to like specific percent type like not percents but like the amount of knockback in a given situation sometimes it's very hard to tell whether you should down air up tilt or whether you should back air or up air and stuff like that so it just takes a little bit more like effort to get comfortable and like consistent with and i think that like because honestly if you played neutral exactly like this but you were hitting like somewhat consistently not even like crazy you know just somewhat consistently you would definitely be winning these like this this set for sure okay yeah i'll just i think practicing and like okay so for example like this so it's like okay you get the shine i didn't mean to interrupt you sorry about that no, no you're good but you get this shine and it's like okay what do i have here and it's like so the rule when you're comboing chic is is the down air going to center onto a platform where i can platform tech chaser if the answer is yes, probably down air. If the answer is no, do not down air ever. Ta down airing Sheik onto like the stage is like a big no no. It's just awful. Okay. You get you have like a one out of three like at best, and um, it's just really ugly. So like you have a couple options here. You can back air, you can up air, or you can shine, or like shine back air. That's, like, that's kind of it. So, like, you, you want to get her up. Uh, kind of like DK or something. Like, she has a hard time coming down. So, you want to just get her up and over. Like, it's just funny because with, with Fox and Falco, it's like up, down, up, down, up, down. It's like, well, with Sheik, it's like up, down when there's platforms. And when there's no platforms, it's up and away. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's, it's let's say instead of this position, you hit a back air, Sheik went up here, you just ran onto the left side platform and waited, Sheik came down, and then you got, like, laser forward smash when Sheik tried to grab the edge or something, or laser forward tilt into, like, you know, double jump off edge, back air, repeat type of thing, and you got, like, a kill out of the edge guard, that would be, like, a totally different situation than just getting this down air and literally nothing happens, and, like, you, it's, you basically might as well not have even gotten that shine in the first place. Like, nothing yeah. changed, as Sheik is no closer to dying than she was. Yeah, I think I think I understand the where the misunderstandings are. If we want to do the the fox one cuz Yeah, sounds good. I don't think I I learned it in the rest of this game. Okay. I really okay so i like that you're like kind of determined to go for these lasers at the beginning um because i'm always talking about like get your eight percent lasers first yeah um there's one exception and i've been going over this it's funny i had two lessons the last couple of days and i've had to go over it in both of them uh because i hammered in this laser thing so hard to people it's like you want to get your lasers and then when fox tries to stop you from getting your lasers you can get shines so, like, while you're running around looking for lasers, it's okay to, like, kind of just throw out random shines, too. Okay. Because if they hit, Fox dies. The important part is that you just don't want to fight Fox in, like, 
the normal plan. Like, there's just this normal plan where you get your laser, the double lasers, and you're kind of trying to greet them on the ground, or, you know, up tilt the full hop and stuff like that. That's, like, the normal plan. The normal plan is just, like, irrelevant when he's at zero. It's just this different plan. Um, but the shine is part of that. It's basically, or if they give you a grab. So it's, like, shine, grab, or lasers at zero. Because this fox is definitely giving you some spots here where, like, so this is good. I don't really like the Nair there. Um, I would have really preferred here doing dash, short hop, shine, double jump to the platform. Oh, okay, yeah, because I was going to ask. Like, I'm cornered there. I totally mm -hmm. need to get out. Yep, no, oh, it's, okay. it's it's short hop, shine, double jump away. That's just, like, kind of the answer there. Instead of using the aerial to get out. That makes sense. Yeah, because if he CCs this or something, you're dead, whereas the shine is, like, you, you get out and you could potentially hit him and, like, get a kill. A lot of the Falco stuff against Fox is kind of like that, where, like, um, there are a lot of times when you're playing the matchup where you get put in this position that's really uncomfortable all of a sudden, and a lot of times the answer is just, like, pick A, B, or C, and shine, and then get out. And okay. a lot of times the strength of shine being able to, like, zero death Fox can just sort of make a situation that was, like, horribly losing into, like, a 50-50, because you're like, oh, well... If I'm, if I'm wrong, I get drilled, and Fox still has to, like, read my SDI and then tech chase me and all that kind of stuff. And if I guess right, I just randomly shine him, and it's over for him. You know, and it kind of just, like, yeah. turns the situation that was really bad into suddenly, like, a 50-50. Um, so this is, this is a... Okay, so this is just, like, a point with Yoshis. This is, like, entirely, like, a Yoshis-based thing. Like, basically, you're trying to do the battlefield plan, but on Yoshis. And that's why it's not working. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know the percent's really low, but I can just feel this. Uh, the idea is on Battlefield, sorry, on Fountain of Dreams and on Yoshi's, there's one important piece of the stage. It's the top platform. Yeah. You have to control the top platform because controlling the top platform means controlling the center. And if you're not controlling the center, you're, you're basically, because like basically what happens so far in the first 10 seconds of this match is you're just on the outskirts and you're just moving around the outskirts over and over and then you're making hard reads to go in towards the center. And it's just like a weak position overall. It's like, all right, outskirts towards the center, outskirts, outskirts towards the center, back to the corner. We fight in the corner, we jump towards the center. And it's like, no, 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 that's really bad. You want to hold center, take over center using the top plat, and then get some lasers on Fox while he's in the corner, and then you have Waveland off the platform okay, mix-ups. So you have space to retreat. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I, I think I think at the beginning it's harder for me to hold center because I know that I remember you saying that. But I think when I'm trying to get laser percent, it's like, oh, it, it'd be really hard to get laser percent or, or damage at the top line because all I basically have is drop down laser, which is like slower. But that makes sense. Like I'm accepting that it's a it's like a war of attrition like instead of just this grounded get the 10 percent as fast as possible because like if i'm on the top plat and fox is just not giving me the drop down laser how is he like, gonna not give you the drop down laser um i guess i guess it's like the type of thing where like he's not stationary you know, like he's, we're both jumping around. I grab top plat for a second, and I'm like, and I have like a split second to decide. And I'm like, okay, well, from here, drop down laser is like my option. I think maybe it'll probably happen. It's easier to watch, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm, okay. I'm, sure, I'm sure one will come up where okay. that happens a lot in my head. Like that should have been drop down laser, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, don't feel pressure. Top plat's really safe. Like you, like just the way you said, like I have to make the split second decision or whatever. It's like no, you don't. <laughs> like you're fine. Like if you're in the corner, like let's say you're right here, and Fox does full hop double jump, wave land down on top plat. Is your first thought like Fox has to make a decision instantly, or you know, <laughs> like mm -hmm. no, like the Fox. You feel like man, Fox can kind of set up and have a bunch of time to come down and get me in the corner here. Yeah, that's true. You're right. <laughs> and it's the same when you're up there. Ooh, I hate when that happens. Yeah. Nice. I don't like 
all the aerials at zero. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> you don't really... Okay, laser, laser, approaching laser. Like, laser, approaching laser is just not the play, and it's not your friend. Like, laser, approaching laser is the enemy. And okay. the, the thing with laser, approaching laser is, like... <sighs> it's just so Falco brain. Yeah, it's, it's not... Like, uh, what's the best way to describe it? Like, laser approaching laser is, like... <sighs> it's like a deconstruction for a genre or something. Where it's like, yeah. you need you need the genre for the deconstruction to mean something. It's mm -hmm. like, the approaching laser is, like, the rejection. Or, like, the... Uh, it's not the rejection. Approaching laser is the assumption that, like, every other option you have is already respected by Fox. <laughs> and so like it's kind of the enemy until there's this one moment where it's not the enemy where like you have like you've just played this long drawn out neutral with someone and you've kind of like understood between you that like you're not gonna approach each other and this is a war of attrition and then when they least expect it, they dash away, and the approaching laser catches them, and you get a shine, and then you win the game. Yeah. And that's, like, the mango. <laughs> but, like, that doesn't mean that laser approaching laser is, like, a good person. <laughs> like, they're, they're, like, they're there to, like, kind of mess you over the majority of the time. It's just that one moment where it comes in clutch. But okay. usually it's something you kind of want to be, like, suspicious of. Like, if that idea pops into your head, you kind of want to be like, wait a minute... Does that mean I'm kind of getting, like, antsy or, like, I need it to end or I, I don't feel comfortable zoning? Because you want to be comfortable with the zoning. And so you, you just just be very wary of that idea when it pops up in your head. It's kind okay. of it's kind of like when laser approaching down here pops up in your head. <laughs> yeah. It's a very similar idea of, like, what if I just got them and they weren't ready? It's like, eh. <laughs> It's just, it's like a very alluring thing for the Falco mains. <laughs> it's like, laser approaching laser. What if you could approach? And you're like, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, when you're in center on this stage and you feel the pressure to go back into the corner, go to the top plat instead. Okay. That's, like, the easiest way to reduce it. Dude, like, look at this. Like, okay. So, like, you're right here. Oh, that was slightly before this. Yeah, it's right here where it's like, okay, so this happens. And it's like, okay, right here. It's like you, there's an alternate universe where that Javes does dash back, turn around, laser right here. Mm -hmm. and then you're in kind of this annoying spot where you're lazing out of the corner and you feel like should i approach or not and what about this one oh, it's yeah. beautiful it's beautiful fox is in the worst situation ever you have runoff runoff hit you have runoff wave land off hit you have drop laser you have drop double jump to the plat again you have a million options and fox just gets like yeah, overwhelmed basically right. and gets I hit i missed shield drop laser and i still have hit with an option i see Nice cross up on the back air. Top flat's the best. Okay, wait, if we go back, that might be an example. Because I got, he up aired me there. So if we like dissect this scenario, this might be. Mm -hmm. I go to top flat. So yeah, I think it's, that's it's, the it's where... just that when you lay, it, it like right here, Waveland, hold Z. Yeah. Just hold Z. Just hold Z right here. You're fine. Okay. You, you did it before. Got it. Where you just, like, go to the platform and just hold Z. Like, they can't up you. I guess after that. So I'm in, like, defense mode. And then... Right right now. Yeah. And then am I just waiting for him to land? And then I'm, like, all right, back in top plat pressure mode? Like, like right, assuming a world where... Like, I right here? Direct... No, like... no, like, if we go back to where he, he up aired me. Oh, If okay. I played it correctly. Do but I like, land? Like, if you light shield is that what you're saying? Yeah, I guess my question is, what am I supposed to do there on top plat? Would be my first question. Like, ideally. Or like, 
like when he's invincible or after that? I'm trying to understand exactly what you're asking. Yeah, if you go back, let me watch it again. Okay. Because he comes back invincible when you do this. So you yeah. would just light shield here to avoid this up air. Okay, and then he'd be below me. And then... It just it's... just play yeah. neutral. Like, it's fine. If, okay. if, if Fox short hop up airs and you short hop. Sorry, if Fox full hop up airs and you short hop, you can actually just hit them. Like, I do yeah, this I, all the time. Short hop, you, the up air misses, and you just fall through, and you shine, and you down air, whatever. And yeah. um, if Fox misses, let's say you don't get that counter, and you're here, and you dash to the left, and Fox up airs this spot, and then lands in the corner, drop laser. So it's, like, basically, like, a position where, like, Fox... If Fox doesn't do anything, you're just going to drop laser. And if yeah. Fox does something... They're opening themselves up to additional risk, and you're probably just going to wait for them to whiff and then drop laser. Yeah. I it's think just I, an incredibly no. powerful position. They don't, like, basically, they don't want to remain below you because they're afraid you're going to just drop an aerial on them. Yeah. And so they're going to move to the side. And when they do that, you're safe to drop aerial or drop laser. And yeah. that's just kind of, it just works every time. Like, there's nothing they, they can do to avoid that, like, conundrum. Okay. I know I only have, like, two minutes left. Maybe just, like, watch the rest and then get, like, a fiction sentence of wisdom. <laughs> okay. Yeah, honestly, dude, even in this matchup, I'm I'm starting to feel it really hard. Uh, I think that the punish is is really getting you. Mm -hmm. I think your your punish is, it it just needs to feel comfy. It's missing the comfortable aspect. Um, yeah, I, and I think I've just gone all neutral. Since and I, that's I what I was about to say is that this game is very like two sided. Where there's like the neutral side and that like style of thinking in that part of your brain, and then like the punish, like I'm a nerd in my room and I'm playing a single player game that I ground out type yeah. thing, and it feels like your 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 like transition from the neutral to the punish is like extra weak right now, uh, yeah, and so it feels like when you land the hit in neutral, your brain like can't switch to punish mode, and so you. You, you're not able to do like the quick calculation you need for the punch. This is an issue everybody goes through, by the way. Like, yeah, everybody. that makes sense. Sometimes so, I forget it becomes a one-player game. Yeah, so you you just need to work a little bit on that switch. Like that's that's I think out of everything, and there's a lot of little things I mentioned for you to work on. Out of everything, that is the one thing that I would I think could provide you the strongest growth right now is like hardcore grinding out that punish switch in like every matchup. That like when you get your hit, you're just like go. It's punish time. It's punish time. But one-player game. Even if, like, the transition... Because what happens is some people have the opposite problem, where they're like, oh, I, like, am so good at comboing that when the combo is done, I just start throwing out buttons because I, I can't go back to neutral or whatever, you know? And that's, like, yeah. the opposite side of the spectrum. But you need a little bit of that, of, like, s switch has been flipped, it's combo time, and then transitioning back to neutral. Working on that transition is, like, basically your homework, <laughs> in addition to the other stuff. I think I actually end this game with a combo. Like, right. I, like it, it randomly comes out sometimes. All right. Well, no, that's Falco. <laughs> yeah. One out of every five times, I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what, he will kill them. <laughs> it's just really funny to me. Every Falco in the world has that same sentiment. Nah, but you should see me sometimes. It's like, no, dude, this Falco. He just murders people. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. Okay, so basically, the reason why this combo worked is that you didn't have to do any calculations. So, like, yeah. you, like your neutral brain didn't have to turn off for this to work. And I think that's why okay. it functioned. is because you get this and this, and this is just kind of natural. And then you're like, oh, okay, down it. That's pretty natural, too. And then you yeah. see this, and you're like, oh, that's pretty natural. Dash attack's the only thing that can hit. And you're like, oh, all right, well, that's pretty natural. I can up tilt. And you're like, no, nah, I'll do the back here. Pretty natural. And then you're just doing these lasers, and you're like, oh, he got the grounded side V, and he missed me. So that's a pretty easy one. Dash attack. And you're like, oh good forward smash but i'll do this tricky back here <laughs> so it's like when there's not any calculations required you can combo like it's not that i don't think you're capable of pressing yeah. the buttons for the combos it's all a mental thing 
Okay, so it's just literally like no more. Like I have to learn an uncle punch. I can't learn it through. I mean, I can, but it's harder to learn. No, through, like, I okay. I like, think there's. I think there's a twofold thing. I think against Sheik, you should practice an uncle punch because I don't feel like you're comfortable comboing at all. Against yeah. with against Fox, I think you're comfortable comboing in general, but you need to grind out the switch of switching into combo mode. And the switching into combo mode is relevant against every character. But against, I don't think you need Uncle Punch time. I mean, obviously Uncle Punch time helps, but I don't think you need it as much against Fox as you do against Sheik. The combo thing, the switch, is more of an in-game practice thing. Got it. All right, cool. All right, sounds good, dude. Okay, you have my payment info. Yep, uh, have it. a good one. I'll see you at Verdugo. All right, Peace, man. See ya.